You'll keep us safe? I will keep us safe. Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs. Welcome back to another Doctor Who video. Today we're going to be previewing the upcoming episode 4 of Doctor Who Season 1, which people out there are still calling Season 14, but officially Season 1, the new Disney Plus era, episode 4, 73 yards. Not much is actually known about this relatively mysterious episode, other than it has something to do with Welsh folklore. That's kind of all we know until now, because in this video I'm going to be previewing it, going through the cast list, going through a bit of the synopsises, synopsi, and getting to grips and getting a better picture for what this episode is going to end up looking like. First thing to discuss is that the mysterious Susan Twist which is the actor's name, because people keep getting confused with this. Susan Twist is the actress playing these mysterious characters, and Susan Triad is the character that we believe her to be playing. Anyway, Susan Twist once again makes her reappearance in episode 4. She's been in every episode of the season so far. She was in Church on Ruby Road as that woman that just asks Ruby, oh, can you play Gal Dite? She's in Space Babies as one of the Star Trek-looking crew. She's in The Devil's Chord as the Tea Lady. She's in Boom as Ambulance. And episode 4, she's here. Twist is playing the hiker in the fourth episode of season 14, which is, <laughs> if, if she's a Time Lord, that's it's a pretty rubbish title. You've got the Master, the Doctor, Rassilon, the Corsair, and the Hiker. But I, I, I imagine that's not her official Time Lord title. This RadioTimes.com article continues, the fourth episode in the season will see the Doctor and Ruby landing on the Welsh coast and embarking on the strangest journey of their lives. Now, that's really interesting because this season so far has... I think the best word you could use to describe it? Strange. It's been incredibly strange. Space Babies, for one, I mean, the title alone speaks volumes. That This isn't to say I didn't love these episodes, by the way. The Devil's Chord, obviously Jinx Monsoon, fantastic villain, but Maestro is utterly bizarre, and the musical number at the end, which, fun fact, apparently it's explained... I think Benjamin Cook said this over on Twitter, but it's explained in the script that the reason there's a dance number at the end of The Devil's Chord is kind of like the state of play of... Like, the Toymaker had a state of play where the TARDIS could be duplicated after his, like, defeating. So apparently there's some sort of similar rules of a state of play after Jinx Monsoon's been defeated, Maestro's powers sort of still linger, music's been given back to the world, so everyone can do a dance number. I think that's, that's the rough idea of it, but I mean, you can go and have a look on Twitter. You'll be able to find what the actual answer is. I mean, it's still a semi-waffly answer, but yeah, I don't know. It's a bit bizarre that it wasn't in the episode. Anyway, point is, this is going to be strange. It's going to be weird. We have seen a creepy woman with markings on her face who's as of yet unidentified all over filming for this episode, but nothing official yet. Anyway, meanwhile, the episode synopsis states that in a rain-lashed pub, the locals sit in fear of ancient legends coming to life. What legends are these going to be? Welsh legends, because the article continues, in the episode described as Welsh folk horror, the TARDIS lands on a clifftop on the Welsh coast, which is obviously, as you can see from these pictures, what we have seen in the trailer. This also, I'm pretty sure, was one of the first instances of Shooty Gatwa being actually spotted on location filming. They shot this way back, almost probably a year and a half ago, I'm gonna guess in Wales, which, I mean, finally, they're in the right location. We don't have to pretend that Wales is somewhere else. The Doctor's actually arrived in Wales, which is really cool. But yeah, he arrives on this cliff top, which also, we'll just note now, that's where the dead TARDIS from the, tr the first Disney Plus trailer, the David Bowie Time May Change Me trailer, that's where we saw a shot of the dead TARDIS, so that's inevitably going to be in this episode. Maybe it's going to be a bit of a Doctor Light 
episode because one, Shuti Gatwa was busy shooting sex education at the time, so maybe they had to kind of write him out, and two, if the TARDIS is dead, and a lot of the shots and bits of the trailer that we've seen of this episode are solely of Ruby, it makes me wonder where's where is the doctor throughout all of this because also allegedly Kate Stewart and Anya in Barnard's character are also playing a part in this episode however they i think they're absent from the cast list but we'll we'll get to the full cast list in a minute the doctor and ruby embark on the strangest journey of their lives in the rain lashed village pub why prenmoir the dead wood in welsh i i i I butchered that. Apologies, Welsh people. Um, the locals sit in fear of an ancient legend coming to life. The spiteful one is mentioned by the local wise woman, and a mysterious scroll bears the words, Rest in peace, Mad Jack. It's quite cryptic. I mean, as the 14th Doctor would say, cryptic. I hate that. I don't hate it. I'm intrigued. I'm glad we don't know too much. I am very, yeah, I'm optimistic for this episode. It sounds like a cool setup, and I like that they've kept a lot of it from us. Like, most of the trailer was kind of episode one and two and bits of the finale. A lot of these episodes in between, like, we don't really know what's going on. As I say, I'm kind of assuming it's going to be Dr. Light, just by the fact, as well, we, we've only seen Shooty on the top of this cliff in that raincoat and the beanie from this episode. Every other piece of footage from this episode is just Ruby on her own, or Kate Stewart. Well, that's from the filming photos. Anyway, the official cast list. We know Shooty is in it. As I say, we've seen the pictures. I just don't think he's going to be in it too much. We've got The Doctor, played by Shooty Gatwa. We've got Ruby Sunday, played by Millie Gibson. And here's our first sort of new characters. Enid Meadows, played by Sienna Phillips. Sian Phillips? I've probably... Yeah, not Sian. Ah, there's no extra A. Sian Phillips. Roger APG William is Anya in Barnard. So, yeah, as I mentioned, this person who I'm pretty sure we saw filming with Kate Stewart at some point, he's going to be making his appearance. This is the sort of bigger, bolder, better Britain conservative parody, which that's going to rile a lot of online feathers, but I think I I'm intrigued. I mean, yeah, the, the state of politics in the United Kingdom, I'm not going to go into here because this is a Doctor Who video, but it deserve, it, it's beyond parody at the moment in real life. So seeing this on screen, it's going to be interesting. I did like Russell's prior comments on like the Bear, Blair, Bear, Blair administration and the whole weapons of mass destruction thing back in 2005 with Slovene. But I'll continue reading our cast list. Lowy Plan plays Maxine Evans. The Woman is played by Hilary Hobson. Now, this is The Woman that I've mentioned with all the markings on her face. I presume she's going to be that legend thing. I mean, th there's people suggesting maybe she's the one who waits, but I think the actual one who waits is Hiker, played by Susan Twist. This is, once again, she's probably just going to go have a thumb out in the middle of the road like, oh, can anyone give me a lift? And that'll be her contribution to the episode because it is this ongoing mystery of Susan Twist's characters. Joshua Steele plays Sion Pritchard. I4 Jones plays Gwyne Morris Jones. Thin Lucy is played by Eleanor Davies or Ellen Davies. I don't know why I keep adding A's to people's names. Eddie Jones is Glyn Pritchard. Very, very interesting, and there's a little picture of the pub at the bottom. Now, as I mentioned, this is, I think, the politics episode, which slightly confuses me in terms of how this is linked to Welsh folk horror. Maybe it's a changing of time. Maybe it's a kind of turn-left scenario where it's Ruby without the Doctor's interference or without the Doctor's help. Roger APG William is a candidate for the Albion Party, which employs the slogan, Bigger, Better, Bolder Britain. Ruby goes undercover to investigate Albion headquarters. I don't think that's confirmed. I think that is just a theory based on these images from the trailer. I think that's probably, yeah, Ruby trying to go undetected, figure out what this plot and what the plan of these evil people are. Now, even more mysterious in 73 Yards is the woman, a mysterious mumbling figure who shows up in several places, including the Ocean Cliff Top, Minto Road in Notting Hill, where Ruby lives, 
and I'm pretty sure there's another location we saw filming. I can't remember where it is. If someone does remember, let me know in the comments down below. Also announced during the time 73 Yards was filmed and spotted at, at location filming for the episode are Gemma Redgrave as Chief Unit Scientific Advisor Kate Stewart, Anita Dobson as Ruby's neighbour Mrs Flood, that's interesting. Maybe the Mrs. Flood character is going to get more development here. The last we saw of her was her winking at the camera saying, never seen a TARDIS before. I have made a theory video if you want to go and check that out about the fact that maybe Mrs. Flood is the TARDIS. Sounds bizarre. Go and watch the video. If the TARDIS is dead in this episode and she's in it, just, just watch the video. It'll be linked somewhere. And Michelle Greenidge as Ruby's mother, Carla Sunday. I'm very glad to see Michelle Greenidge back. I was, I just, I thought it was a massive shame that we didn't start with Cherry Sunday and Carla at the start of Devil's Cord. I loved that episode, but I, yeah, I want to see Ruby's family's reaction and integration of the Doctor into their lives. But that does bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it as ever, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you very much for watching. Turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any future uploads. <gasps> Goodbye.